Before use, ensure that the area around the machine is clear of any obstacles or hazards. Be aware of the location of the emergency stops. Observe the safety signs associated to the planar thicknesser. Ensure that you understand them and adhere to their instruction. Remove the extraction hood to expose the cutter block. Check the fence is set square to the table using an engineer's square. Check the bridge guard for damage and secure over the cutter block. Examine the anti-kickback fingers, ensuring they are in place and moving freely. Examine the feed roller for signs of damage or resin buildup. Raise and lower the surfacing in-feed table using the table handle. Always remove this handle after use to prevent damage. The planar thickness is fitted with a brake motor that will bring the machine to a complete stop in less than 10 seconds. Remove the padlock from the machine isolator. Switch on. Switch on the planar thickness and isolator. Insert key and turn key switch to the on position. Press the green start button, press the red stop button. The machine will come to a complete stop in less than 10 seconds. Reset the red stop button. Press the green start button, press the mushroom headed foot stop, reset the foot stop, pull out until you hear a click. The machine has a speed feed control switch for controlling the speed of the feed roller when thicknessing. Position 1 for hardwood, position 2 for softwood. This planar thickness should only be used in conjunction with a fully operational extraction system. As this system also services the circular saw, it is essential that the appropriate gates are opened and closed. For thicknessing, the extraction hood is positioned over the cutter block. And secured by a bridge guard. Adjust the height of the thicknessing bed by setting the scale to the required thickness. It is recommended that no more than 2mm be removed per cut. Lock in position. Set the feed speed for the timber. When feeding timber through, the operator should stand to the side of the timber. Check timber after cut.
Locate the extraction hood on the thickening bed, taking care to align the lug of the hood. Raise the thickening bed to seal the extraction hood. Lock in position. Replace the hose if necessary. Check the fence is set square to the table using an engineer's square. Place the workpiece between the fence and the bridge guard and adjust the bridge guard to a distance of no more than 8mm from the workpiece. Adjust the height of the infeed table and set using the table guide. It is recommended that no more than 2mm be removed per cut. The workpiece is pushed firmly against the fence and moved forward by the right hand. The operator should move along with the workpiece. And the final 300mm of timber are fed through using a push shoe. Check the workpiece after cut. Place the bridge guard over the cutter block. Return the end feed table to zero. Beveling can be achieved by adjusting the fence to the required angle using the lateral cant lock. The angle required is set using a sliding bevel or a protractor. The bridge guard is set at 8mm from the workpiece. Adjust the height of the infeed table and set using the table guide. It is recommended that no more than 2mm be removed per cut. The timber is pushed firmly against the fence and fed through the cutting block. The operator should move along with the workpiece and the final 300mm of timber is fed through using a push shoe. Check the workpiece after cut. Check the fence is set square to the table using an engineer's square.
Replace the bridge guard over the cutter block. Return the infeed table to zero. Turn the key switch to the off position and remove the key. Switch off the planar thickness or isolator. Return the feed speed to zero. Switch off the machine isolator and replace the padlock. Clear the surface table and the thickness of bed of all debris and dust using the HEPA filter vacuum cleaner. Store the extraction hood on top of the surface table covering the cutter block and secured by the bridge guard. The planar thickness is now in a safe condition.